Uh, yeah, it happens fast. We haven't got a chance to take a look at it yet. Um, just said a prayer for him. Um, it's obviously, uh, it's obviously a hard time, and so my thoughts and prayers go out to him. You're coming into this unit, you know, as a fellow veteran, you know, you and Brian Tyler, you know, man. What do you feel like you bring the most to the table to really help us? Because it's a lot of young guys in that line. Yeah, I think just with experience, uh, you know, with some years under my belt, you get. Um, hopefully, I can help these guys. Uh, Maybe in a sense of composure, just more out there. Okay, hey, uh, what's the situation? What's the down and distance? Reminding them, stuff like that. Sometimes um, stuff like that can be lost on young players. Just keeping everyone locked in, big picture and small picture, right? The next snap, but big picture. Okay, it's the first quarter. It's the opening drive, X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. So um, hopefully just, um, you know, Burns and I can help keep the composure along that front. Um, <clears throat> good, but not good enough. I think that's generally a, a pretty safe answer for any defensive lineman, right? I mean, um, you always want more. You always want to be able to affect the quarterback more, pressure more, more hits and stuff like that. It's tough in practice when, you know, we're doing simulation drills. Um, I understand the long whistles and all that stuff. Like, you know, we, we got to get work on both sides of the ball. So that's, you know, um, that's really all that is. But, um, good. I think ultimately, like, there's always, there's always one more step to take. Your opinion of the offensive line, you know, some new guys on that side of the ball too, trying to gel and really come together. What have you seen out of them, especially today? Sure. Um, I think the offensive line is coming together well. Um, I think I wasn't here last year, so I can't speak to the additions because to me they're all additions. Um, but uh, I think they're coming together well. They're working cohesively together. They work, you know, they, they have good chemistry. You see it on and off the field. You see it walking around the building. And so... It's cool when you see an offensive line click like that because it usually means really big things are coming down the line. Brian Burns said he has learned a lot from you. Um, a little different attitude or whatever than he's had before. What, what have you seen out of him and what do you think you, you taught him? Uh, one of the things that I think caught me right away with Burns was that his attention to detail is hyper focused. You know, he asks really high level questions in meetings and stuff like that. And so it's been really cool. I know that. Um, like today on the on the field, we had a we had an error um, in signaling. We got to the sideline and we got it hashed out. Came up with a new signal right there on the spot, and it's like stuff like that. It just helps game speed, turn over those uh, those MAs, and get back into the get back into the game. So um, Burns is a really smart player. He's he's obviously capable of beating you uh, in a lot of different ways, but he's he's as sharp as they come. No, this is the first I'm hearing about that. Um, I didn't know he had a new sleep habit. I'd like to. I'll ask him about that though. Well, I'm glad he's you know getting a better than getting up, <laughs> getting up at a good time. Yeah, I mean, it'll obviously be a first uh, on my time there. I was never in the visitor locker room. Um, but, yeah, I think there'll, there'll be a little bit of that pregame. You get to see some guys that, uh, you, you know, you've known for a long time, you know, shake hands, catch up. But ultimately, once the ball gets put down and, the, you know, the whistle's blown, it's just ball. Um, at least, you know, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, things could change. I, I can't predict the future. But I'm hoping, you know, rep one, if that first quarter is just ball. You got, you got the shirt on, everybody else wore today. Keep down and you know, just, what does that phrase mean, mean to you personally? Uh, we watched a video with it last night of Greg Olson, and so being new to the franchise, um, getting to get that intro to it, um, really just in whatever, with with Sam Mills setting the, setting the standard there, just there are no excuses. Keep going, right, wrong, and different. Just keep working, keep pounding, keep grinding. It doesn't matter what's happening, you know, what's happened in the past, just take the next step. Um, 
I, uh, I played for, for Sam Mills' son in Washington, and he's a fantastic guy. Um, so just, you know, I'm, it's, it was an honor to play for him, and, and uh, it's an honor to be here to, to, you know, just to wear this shirt. And so, I, you know, I congratulate my former coach on his, on his father's success. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you.